Because it's a great way to kick off the session because we're live on Facebook, we, we're recording, so uh, um, I think we're almost at the at the top of the hour. So Jasper and Gavin, over to you. Take it away. And good luck, Sue. Have fun. Thank, thank you. All right, friends. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, I've got another minute to go, so let's do it exactly on the top of the hour. Uh, I've got uh, on my, my watch another minute to spare. So Sue, you can still chat. Get up, uh, Trevor, for one more minute. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so, I'm, obviously, I'm able to share my screen, correct? You should. So, in the, when did I get about land on that? So, I just want to make sure that, oh, can you guys yes. see my screen? Yes, we can see it. There we are. Okay, I just wanted to ensure that I could share my screen. Great stuff. All right. Well, you can even keep it up, so it's not a problem. So I'll just do a quick and then uh, hand over to you, Sue. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Hi, uh, uh, Ivan, uh, 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 yes, we're recording. Hi, friends. So uh, welcome to uh, Can You Believe How Time Flies? Uh, for the last three months, we've been planning this. We had no idea who the speakers would be. We had no hard idea what the look and feel would be uh, uh, of the of the stalls, and it all just uh, after uh, months and months of sweating it and people working behind the scenes, uh, we started to say, get a feel for what it will look be look, uh, be like uh, this last couple of days, and uh, I mean I'm going to introduce a lady that I'm probably meeting now for the first time, Sue, I think. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Hi, Jasper. It's just, it's just amazing how the new technology opens up for all of us and make our worlds uh, far more exciting and meeting people faster. Um, and uh, what we had so far, for those of you who missed out on the previous ses uh, sessions, we had some brilliant teaching on various topics. And uh, around every hour, there's a new person uh, sharing his expertise and there's a chance for questions and answers. Uh, and uh, this doesn't stop here. So today we got two more sessions, but tomorrow we continue and we have more sessions on Sunday and on Monday. Uh, so if you've missed it, uh, give us your contact details so that we can notify you when the recordings are available and we'll probably put it on YouTube so that you can check what you've missed out on. Uh, and while, uh, also just some of our uh, administration, if uh, while Sue is sharing a uh, talk, if you uh, have something to add or want to connect, just put uh, in the chat room any, anything you want to say, but also uh, give us your contact details so that people who then uh, visit this session specifically can then uh, download the chat and connect with you afterwards. Right, so uh, happy to then uh, uh, do the honors and introduce uh, uh, Sue uh, Skippers, uh, I think. And, yes, uh, it is. <laughs> and uh, uh, I can see from a screen here, so uh, Sue is an expert in what most of us are, are scared of and this met. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that'll be an interesting session to see uh, why is she so passionate about maths? Is, there's definitely a story behind it. So, Sue, I'm going to uh, uh, leave it to you then to, to share with us how did you develop into the specialist on math tuition and uh, uh, what got you into this field and why do you believe you have a solution now for the problems of, of uh, our country in terms of uh, uh, learning maths because I know a lot of people are avoiding the subject and not understanding it so over to you. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Um, hey, everybody, those who have joined in, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, so, yes, so the actually the mass tuition is um, simply it's an extension of who I am. So I've been in the learning and development and also the education field for the past 20 years, actually. And um, so I used to, in, in fact, I think, let me just change uh, screens and I just want to. So these are a couple of interesting facts about me. So I've, I've been in education for the past 20 years. I've served on um, the school's governing bodies for over 10 years. 
I used to lecture and I used to teach and also I spent, uh, of the 10 years I spent teaching grade 12s, I also spent six of those uh, teaching physically disabled um, kids as well, well learners, they weren't kids. Um, so serving on the governing bodies, having a, an, an in-depth uh, um, insight into education in particular, this is where the maths came from. Um, I've always, always loved uh, learning. I've always loved teaching. So even though I consult via 4L training solutions, the passion for learning and developing and empowering has always been there. And that's a passion that's ex in excess of 20 years. So having that, um, this maths in particular. So I found while sitting on the governing bodies, I used to, by the way, before I, I launched the Confident Teens Maths Tuition, I used to offer maths tuition to family and friends, uh, their kids for free. Until seven years ago, somebody said, hey, Sue, you should actually be doing this and you should be charging people for it. And hence, seven years ago, Confident Teens Maths Tuition was, um, was born. Um, so for me, the maths is, it's absolutely critical uh, a function within our country. It is something that is sorely lacking. Um, and for me, it's about still instilling that, create, creating that passion for the learners. When they attend maths is to say, so it's not just about maths, it's about learning to love the subject. And my, uh, uh, what I've realized over the years is that um, a lot of kids, is, it's only because number one, currently the classroom sizes are really, really large, you know, in excess of 35 per class. Some of the kids who really don't understand, uh, some of the teachers tell them to go sit at the back of the class, which is really not a good way for any um, learner to actually learn anything. Um, teachers, uh, you know, it's, it's the comments that teachers make to learners. And this is something that I found out while, uh, you know, having learners come to Confident Teens Maths Tuition. So if you are told that you can't learn maths, you know, inherently that's the, psychologically it impacts you. So you think that you can't learn maths. So for me, the maths tuition was about teaching learners to actually learn to love maths and learn to love the subject. Um, so I just wanna switch screens. So this uh, again is a few interesting facts about me. Um, so I have a 21 year old daughter I've been teach, I taught grade 12s and especially physically disabled. And I hope some of my um, ex learners that I, we are the physically disabled learners, I hope some of them are online. They must give a shout out. Um, then uh, sorry, I all, uh, if yes. I can just interrupt, uh, if you have different screens there, uh, we only see your uh, PowerPoint on the math tuition. Okay, let me share another uh, if screen. You didn't want if you then want can to... Can you see this one, um, Jasper? Yes, now we can see the 4L training solutions. Yes, absolutely. Um, so these are a couple of interesting facts about me. Um, serving on the Eden Glen governing, school governing bodies. I'm also part of the Virgin Active Group. So I'm one of the group exercise instructors um, in high school. So from a leadership perspective, it started in high school. I was prefect and class captain for four years, best female athlete four years, athletics victrix for four years. Uh, in case somebody doesn't understand athletics victrix, it means you compete in three track and field events and you win all three. Um, so I captained hockey, athletics, gymnastics. Um, also my honors thesis was chosen to uh, be part of the um, publication to journals and medical sports. So these are just a couple of interesting facts about me. So I'm gonna switch now back to the Confident Teens. Do you guys see that? Not yet, uh, you'll have to share Hold on. Yes, I just wanna share it. Right, do you guys see that? Yes, Confident Teens. Right, so the Confident Teens Maths tuition, um, firstly, uh, over, 20 years of experience and the maths tuition is offered for grades eights, nines, tens, elevens and twelves. The syllabus that is followed is caps aligned and this is as per government legislation, but also it ties into IEB, which is also independent education board. So even kids that are in private school do actually uh, attend maths tuition with me. So 
what's the difference between myself and everybody else? We are 100% black female owned. Um, Confident Teens was born out of, and the name came from just giving teens back the confidence to actually do maths. Um, the environment that I want to create and a picture that you see on the right hand side is actually the boardroom. So I also wanted to create an environment that is conducive to learning, hence a maths boardroom. So it is fun, it's inclusive, it's engaging, and it's also thought provoking. Um, so what we do is for me when a learner comes on board is understanding the learner. It's promoting an understanding and a love for the subject because that's what it's about, love for the subject. This is also an environment and I think it's been extremely difficult with the lockdown where teens meet with each other and teens from various back backgrounds and they can literally engage with each other and also have fun while doing maths. Um, they also realize, most of them, it's about learning, it's about teaching them that they are the ones that are responsible for their learning. So, what I also look for, when I look at uh, companies that I've consulted to, I've said to them, you know, if companies want to sponsor a learner, they can actually earn triple BE uh, points. So if they want to sponsor learners, this is how they would be able to earn triple BE points. And I'm more than happy to guide uh, the companies through the process of earning these points uh, because I am a triple BE specialist as well. The investment. So when I looked at the investment for Matt's tuition, so mine is one of the lowest fees. And the reason for that is I wanted to ensure that learning is accessible for all learners and not just the upper band of the market. So this is for all learners, hence the inclusivity. Anybody who wants to contact me, those, those are my contact details and I'm more than happy to send the slide. So that's Confident Teens Maths Tuition. And um, the aim is that parents either send the learners. We are also doing maths online. So maths has gone virtual. And um, currently, you know, it's by booking, purely by bookings only. So if anybody wants to reach me, those are my contact details. Feel free to contact me and feel free to book a session with your, with your child. Alternatively, feel free to sponsor a learner. And the sponsorships that I'm looking for is, especially for grade 12s at the moment, they have been hit the hardest and not grade 12s in private schools or even Model C schools, but the grade 12s that have come from your, the other schools, which is your township schools, and those have been hit the absolute hardest. So if anybody out there is listening and they wanna sponsor a learner, a grade 12, that's where the funding will go to. So that's Confident Teens Maths Tuition. Any questions? Right. Uh, are you for opening for questions now? Yes, absolutely. All right, folks. Uh, uh, just put up your hand or open up your mic uh, or show us your faith. Guy, over to you. <laughs> Hello, Smala in Durban. Eh? You're in Durban, Sue. Uh, right. No, I'm actually I'm in Johannesburg. Hi, Guy. How are you? Are you? Oh, okay. I, would, I just looked you up quickly on LinkedIn. That's my favorite thing. I do that first talk and... Yes. But, uh, an interesting subject. Um, if 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 a if a youngster wants to, within their first few years of leaving school, become an entrepreneur, and not not a tech entrepreneur, just the good old standard products that business to business need or business to consumer. What's more important? Is it mass literacy or the other type of applied maths? I forget what it, the, the, the name yeah, is. Yeah, so, um, so maths core is what I do, and then there's maths literacy. So I know a lot of parents are steering away from, so I don't, um, I don't tutor maths literacy, but I, I'm not, not a supporter of it because a lot of parents are steering their children away from it. Yet I say to every parent, you know, not every child is going to choose the science field or the medical field or the research field or engineering or architect. Some kids want to be entrepreneurs. Now, maths literacy teaches mainly financial maths. So that's, and, and in the financial maths, you've got where it's actually live examples about how to get a bond, what's your interest rates from simple interest to compound interest, 
Um, you know, if you are looking at buying a car, better ways in which to, to, to look at the interest rate. So maths literacy teaches a lot of those skills. And I have found that looking at the maths literacy syllabus, um, there's a lot of life skills, maths life skills that come from that. So the other, you know, maths core, which is what I do, I mean, those are, I mean, a lot of kids do it. And I say, you will never be lost, you know, if you do take a maths core. However, you know, don't feel that you are, you know, being sidelined because you've got maths literacy. Just ensure that you've chosen the correct career. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. All right, uh, Sue, uh, I just want to backtrack a bit. Uh, you've given us now a very short and concise summary of, of what you do. But uh, in my head, I've got all these questions. How, did, how does a lady who was this Victrix and Ladorum and <laughs> and Miss Durban and Miss South Africa or whatever, uh, there, there's an interesting story there. What, what made you this passionate uh, activist for maths and how did, how, how did you get there? Well, well, actually, um, when I was in, in matric, one of my teachers, uh, so I, I thought I would become a surgeon, uh, you know, um, being in the A class and uh, I got an A for maths in grade 12. So, but one of my teachers, and that's why I say teachers are so, so critical to, um, you know, your learners. And, and he actually said, you, you, you mustn't go into that field. Your field is, is you need to teach, you need to develop, you need to empower. So go in a field where you are dealing with people, hence my Bachelor of Arts um, Honours degree, as well as my UHDE, which is University High Diploma in Education. And I majored in two of the areas that I absolutely love, which is sports science and um, psychology. And in, when I did my honors in, um, when I did my honors degree, I also took statistical analysis at honors level and I got, um, well, I scored cum laude. So that was the math side of it as well. So I am both sporty, I'm an extrovert, I'm not an introvert compared to the, the normal mainstream of what people think maths people should be like. I am not that. I have a personality, by the way. <laughs> No, that, certainly that, that shows. And uh, I mean, your comment on the quality of the teacher, I was just thinking of, uh, I wasn't a good student at school, but for some other reason, uh, uh, maths uh, talked to me. But if I think back, it's because I had a very good teacher and uh, installed in me that love for it. Now, you talk about uh, you being 100% uh, black woman owned. Then who are the team, who are the, the rest of your team and tell us about them? Uh, no, no, it's me, myself, and I. So I'm a <laughs> yes, of course you're going to ask me to explain about the black. So in remember in South African terms, black is African Indian coloured, hence the triple B E. So of mixed race descent, obviously. So I fall into that category. Um, I grew up in Durban, and the guy that came in earlier said, Durban, I grew up in Durban. Um, I was schooled at uh, your normal colored schools. So that's my background with regards to also triple BE and my absolute passion to say, even kids, you know, all kids must understand that, you know, every single one of us has the ability to achieve regardless of how we've grown up, where we've grown up and regardless of our circumstances. If it's in us, we can definitely achieve. And that's what I promote. Don't look at where you've come from, look at where you're going. Good, good thing. All right, any, any question from our, the rest of our group? Uh, just open your mic and start speaking, you're welcome. Hi Sue, it's Harry here. Hey, Harriet. Hey. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> I am very good. So Harriet is, by the way, um, I worked at, uh, so with Twin Saver Consulted too, 
And Harriet is one of the people, amazing, amazing person. And she reported directly into me as one of my learning and development officers. Harriet, welcome. Hi, Sue. Thanks so much. And it's great to see you and to Thank hear you. your voice again. <laughs> <laughs> so so nice. I, just wanted to, I just wanted to ask, so in terms of your, your online um, math tuition, so I know you're based in Johannesburg. Yes. Um, are you maybe looking at expanding now that it's all virtual or looking at taking students like in other provinces? Are you uh, definitely, absolutely, Harry, definitely. I've actually got a learner that's uh, based in Messina at the moment. So with the virtual and the online lessons, it doesn't matter where you are, um, if, uh, it, where you are in South Africa, because we are doing the South Africa Capsuline syllabus. So absolutely, I am offering online lessons uh, for maths virtually anywhere. That's awesome. Thanks, Harry. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. All right. So I see you're on a new screen. Have you got more to share with us? Well, the Confident Teens is the one part of my business. Now, this is for our training solutions. So for our training solutions, uh, so 4 l was born out of live, uh, learn, love, and leave a legacy. Um, so I have two aspects. Um, I do maths and then I need adult interaction and hence the learning and development. And this is another part of my brain that I love using. This is the creative side of it. Um, so with regards to 4L training solutions, um, these are the companies I, I actually consulted to or worked for, um, as you can see. And this has been um, a, a 20 year journey with me and with a lot of these companies. So I think also you'll find what I've decided to list here is just a couple of the achievements I've had in these companies. And the reason for this is because when people want you to consult with them, they always want to know, so what can you do and how fast can you do it? But also, you know, it's not just speed and accuracy, it's also excellence. And I think the competitive side of me is when I go into companies and, um, I always look at what, you know, mine is a, a, a scope analysis to see what is missing, what's the gaps, and then to try and fill those gaps in the shortest space possible, but making sure that I'm extremely pedantic about accuracy and I'm extremely pedantic about authentic data. So when I was at Twin Save, I managed to save them 3.7 million rand on the training budget. Um, I also work with a lot of the CETAs, sectional education training authorities, and we managed to secure over 600,000 rand in grants. And these are called discretionary grants where learners are sponsored for, uh, from apprenticeships to learnerships to skills programs, etc. Um, I'm also for uh, to Ensaver, we had an exciting onboarding induction program. Uh, budgets are my thing, obviously, with the maths background and the maths tutoring. So accurate budgeting and reporting, this is something that I empower and I teach people to do from scratch. So when I go into companies, it's about leaving the legacy there, but ensuring that I'm always training and empowering the staff that are there. Because I, I want to ensure that I leave this with them when I leave. Triple BE analysis, uh, all companies, I'm always busy with Broadway's Black Economic Empowerment. Um, training processes from policies to procedures. So for Twin Saver, there was a lot that was done there. When I look at some, uh, Twin Saver is your national company. When I look at Sangaban, which was a uh, French company, accurate budgeting and reporting. Uh, so triple BE, we achieved uh, 18.12 points. So when you look at the triple BE scorecard, one is a good rating and eight is a bad rating. So that's how the ratings start. But skills development pillar is out of 25 points. And so to achieve that from 12 points, to take it up is, is, is actually a very good achievement. We also, I do launch skills development and employment equity committees and uh, successful sales training because they were big on sales. So launched a, a massive sales program, which was quite successful. Then if you look at um, with Schneider, so Schneider Electric, uh, also French company, uh, must have a thing for the French. Uh, delivery, um, I was in charge of learning and development to roll it out in South Africa, Kenya and Nigeria. So we had a 91.8% delivery on that. Um, also the triple BE achieved a level three on the new codes. And level three, like I said, is really great because level one is the best, level eight is the worst. 
we did engineering. So I run, when I go into companies, I also run graduate recruitment programs. It doesn't necessarily have to be engineering. It could be any graduate recruitment programs. So I partner with universities and we go out to the universities and we advertise a company and we try and recruit um, these young graduates to sponsor them or sponsor them in one of two ways, um, either uh, if they're doing first, second, third or fourth year to sponsor them by the bursaries and then they come on board, they join the company and they do what's known as a work back. Alternatively is when they complete and then we bring them on board and we offer them what's known as internships and we offer them mentoring and coaching. Um, so those are your engineering graduate programs. Learnerships for the disabled, very close to my heart. At uh, Schneider, we, we had 19 uh, disabled learners come on board across the spectrum of the business, and we had 100% absorption of these learners. Induction programs are important. Uh, safety, safety health environment, um, quality and risk training is important, so we achieved 100% delivery on that. Onboarding programs are, are absolutely great to introduce new uh, people into a business. So launching these programs and also traveling to Kenya and I delivered. So I am a facilitator and a presenter. So delivering um, training is part and parcel of what I do. So I traveled to Kenya as well and delivered what was known as their manager essentials. We also do leadership programs. So I have launched management advancement programs, new manager programs, executive leadership development programs. And what I do is I partner with business schools, Gibbs Business Schools, BITS, um, you know, UCT, GSB, University of Cape Town, Graduate School of Business. I partner with these and then we launch these within the companies. These are all the programs that I launched um, and we achieved delivery on when I was at uh, Schneider. So it's mass, it's, there's quite a few and I'm happy to uh, share these slides or send it to whoever contacts me. When you look at BAE systems, this was military and defense. And uh, so I was nominated for the um, group uh, chief executive officer award for excellence. And what we did was we worked on a, a project, a transfer of technology project, and we were awarded a contract with the UAE, which is United Arab Emirates. So I achieved an award for excellence because I worked with the technical team and we researched and developed a training material. And that was called the Transfer of Technology Project. I was also nominated for top female <laughs> talent. It's the competitive side to me. Then we've been, um, you know, there's been a lot of virtual uh, training and information version around for years. So the Women's Global Virtual Forum was hosted in South Africa. And this, the theme is women in leadership. So this was already happening in 2013. Now, the Women's Global, the, the, with BAE systems, for them, they wanted to have a more gender-based talent pipeline and hence the Women's Global Virtual Forum. Even though it was Women's Global Virtual Forum, there were also lots of men that were invited. Um, BAE system, so lots happening there from diversity and inclusion to empowerment, development of women, to competency models for supervisors. So I also do competency models. I can draw up comp competency models from scratch for looking at the different um, job profiles and competency models for supervisors as well as for leadership. We also had um, team interventions and again, Triple B comes in play. LaSalle Research, a couple of achievements there. ISO 14,000 full accreditation and OSHA 18,001. So as you can see, if I just look at a couple of the things I have done, um, for me, it's all about ensuring that companies get uh, their money's worth. You know, when I leave, they are left with stuff that is sustainable for their business. It, business has to continue even in my absence. So a couple of the services I offer, staff training across the spectrum, executive leadership development. And these are just a, a few, as I said, I'm more than happy to send it on to everybody. They can have a look at this. I'm not gonna read it out. Uh, mentoring and coaching, et cetera, et cetera. I also use as a PDA analyst and certified to do personal development analysis. It's 
it's a, a psychometric tool. It only takes 50, 10 to 15 minutes to complete. And this is what it provides insight to. So it's a great tool to actually look at the development and uh, learning of employees. Other services, executive leadership development, competency models, and skills development and training strategies. Uh, skills gaps analysis, training needs. And again, like I said, everybody can read and uh, more than happy to share these, uh, these slides. Mentoring and coaching and diversity and inclusion strategy and implementation plans. Um, empowerment and development of women, induction onboarding apprenticeship programs. And also, again, close to my heart, a lot of companies don't have your disability strategy. So I'm more than happy to help companies with disability strategies and implementation plans. And last but not least is to help them with regards to their triple BEE scorecards. So questions? I've got a question. Yes. It's uh, Peter, Peter here. So um, Hi, Peter. I'm a mathematician. Hi, Sue. Yes, yeah, so I'm a mathematician and then I went into farming and agriculture and you went the other way. Um, oh, wow. Okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also, I'm also tutoring, um, you know, so I've been in, in that space for the last year. Uh, nice. So in terms of your 150 model, your 150 rand, I mean, that's probably about half the, uh, what I've seen in the market, the, the company's charge. So it's really Absolutely. around the, 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 the commercial viability because I know I'm sort of, I'm, myself as a tutor, I'm getting 150 an hour. So right. how are you getting that, that mix strike with, with that? And then it sounds like your strategic advantage is more your relationships with Gibbs as opposed to necessarily, the, you know, a lot of these guys say, are we the premier, you know, tuition company come to us, you know, 300 Rand yeah. an hour or whatever the case is. So that's what I just want to see is where else are you perhaps get making money that others are not seeing? Um, you're so right to say, so, you know, it's so much better to partner with people who have already got a tried and tested model than to go and say, right, we are the premium for this because there's loads of business schools that offer a lot of this. So I'm saying if they are offering it, why not partner with them when it comes to management advancement programs, new manager programs, executive leadership development, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the business schools that you want to partner with. Um, with regards to the maths, uh, yes, you know, there is a market. So I'm not doing one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. My model is based on in the boardroom, I can cater I normally try to do a maximum of only 10. In my boardroom, I can cater for 15. So if I'm looking, so mine is about the numbers and also the numbers per session. So that is sustainable. And I'm, you know, with it virtual, so there's one-on-ones virtual, we have a couple of groups. So it is sustainable from a business perspective, you know, so not just, because um, yes, you can absolutely love something and you can be crazy about it. But the bottom line is I'm an entrepreneur. And yes, we have to make money because I've got to pay my bills, you know. I don't have a, a rich man hidden somewhere that's paying my bills. I pay my own bills. Thank you. All right, uh, thanks there, uh, uh, Peter, uh, for that question. Uh, I think, uh, Shlonit Nipa, if you had a question at one stage. Hi, Shlonipa. Okay, you Hello. just unmute yourself, Shlonipa. Shlonipa, unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, Shlons. All right, let's, uh, while we see if we can reconnect with her just now. Uh, uh, Sue, yeah, uh, one of the comments here is, uh, uh, do you sell your energy and enthusiasm as well? <laughs> uh, you can bottle well, it, you might. <laughs> <laughs> now, that comes with the going into the companies, doing what I absolutely love, believing in it 100%. And I think anybody who knows me and has experienced me knows that uh, there's no shortcuts with me. It's either 100% or nothing. So, no, I, I, maybe I should bottle it. I don't know. <laughs> Another business adventure. All right. I've got a hand up there from Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. 
Hello, Sue. I, I also wanted to come on board and say, just like you, I'm also a Victrix Lodorum in mathematics. Oh. Um, and uh, my teachers, they just couldn't spell. They couldn't grade correctly. They gave me an M for maths in matric. <laughs> um, and, and, and Yeah, a, a G for geography and an H for history, can you believe? So I almost got a full house there. But Sue, uh, yes. listening to you and your profiles and all your achievements, and, and you're talking about um, that, that you are the operation. It sounds to me that you are a woman alone in this uh, endeavor is that correct yes absolutely so um i'm you know now that maths tuition i mean it has taken off and i've had a couple of inquiries with regards to tutors who want to come on board so obviously going into next year i definitely want to look at introducing a lot more lessons and i definitely want to introduce uh, tutors and you know it would be great to have a couple of other tutors on board to do obviously the boardroom the face-to-face -face lessons so i'm definitely exploring that avenue definitely okay so uh, the question that that i really want to ask you here is where are the opportunities for people that have come onto this forum right now uh, to actually a joint venture with you or form strategic alliances or are you ready to open up and broaden out and uh, uh, perhaps the best way to answer this question is uh, what's your biggest need uh, you know who who are you looking to connect with um, where do you see the biggest opportunity that you can uh, use some talents what talents are those that you want to actually connect with to unlock the opportunities that you clearly open up but in my interpretation is you need more people behind you. Yes, absolutely. So for me, it's in the 4L, uh, um, 4L training solutions, um, it's that field. Because the maths tuition, I can bring tutors on board. That's not an issue. It's about expanding the business there. But the 4L training solutions, you know, with my vast experience, I definitely want to partner with people that maybe have got global clients, um, you know, from a learning and development perspective, from policy, from procedure, from training and facilitation because you know there's loads of people on our network um, and in, in fact even on our uh, powerful women whatsapp groups that mark established there are loads of women there that and men that are on the platform who are offering you know training or who maybe need facilitators or who might want to partner with me from a business perspective so yes those are the opportunities i'm actually looking for so if anybody wants to come on board and wants to chat to me, especially about the consulting part of my business, I definitely want to expand the consulting part of my business because my true passion lies there as well. And for me, it's about business. It's not just about, you know, my confident teens maths tuition where we've got our future leaders uh, uh, which are sitting in these boardrooms, but it's also we within business, you know, to upskill and develop and empower people that are already in business. All right. I, 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 um, also, want to, I also want to say, yes, but if you, if you don't mind, um, a, a couple of years ago, I lost a 3.7 million deal at Twin Savers, and I, I just worked out how that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, my word, Trevor! And, and, talking, and, and, and talking about the power of women, uh, Dawn, I also saw you had your hand up earlier. Did you get a chance to actually... Uh, ask it. Okay, Dawn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit back and uh, this Jasper, he doesn't look for power or woman. Yeah, he's scared of them. He's fearful. Well, I don't, I get, don't get a chance to let other people in uh, because uh, uh, you, you just dominate the conversation there because uh, uh, of the energy of Sue there. But uh, uh, Dawn, okay, you're next. And then I want, uh, uh, Mark also has his hand up. So uh, after you, it's Mark. Thank you. I just want to say Sue takes um, children that are so distraught over math, they don't like it, they don't enjoy it, and by the time they finish Sue's course, they love it. They love her energy, they love, her, they love the, the subject, and the amount of successes that Sue's had from her students, Sue, you should be telling people about the letters that you get. I mean, the, the successes you. are just incredible and i think that's what makes her even more passionate about it because she's 
turning around something that someone hates into something that someone now loves, which is a great achievement. Dawn, thank you so, so much, my friend. And what Dawn's talking about is if you visit the uh, www.confrontteens.co.za, it's actually the, par the parents' comments um, over the years and even current. And some I do share these with my network and my friends. And that those comments is what keeps me going because, you know, when you, when you impact a child's life through maths, it is the most, um, for me, it's the most amazing feeling. And I think that's why I love maths. And that's why I absolutely love um, uh, tutoring because of that, because you are genuinely, you're taking sometimes kids that are broken and you just give them a sense of worth and a sense of love. Thanks, uh, Dawn and Sue. So next is Mark. Mark oh, Mark goodness, is someone's ready. pulled up my parents' comments. All oh, right. there we go. Hey, There's the parents' comments. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thanks, Dad. Uh, um, can you hear me? Uh, you're breaking up there. Can you can you hear me? Yes, I can Let's hear you. Let's go ahead. Okay. Now, um, I'm a former colleague uh, of Sue's. Um, I'm based here in Cape Town, and I must say, um, having worked with Sue um, for, for a couple of years, um, when we were previously at Schneider Electric together, we introduced the math program, and, and we had to spearhead that, and it was something new for the business. So, so I'm actually one of the products of, of that MAP program, and it's it's, it's certainly you know through engagement with, with with the universities, um, especially with BITS at that point, um, and getting everybody to understand you know what we want to accomplish. It's certainly something that um, you know works well for the company, and you know the products of of of, of the class that came out of 2017. Um, has really been remarkable if you look at where everybody else is in terms of um, what their roles are um, on a daily basis and how they've grown. And then just second to that, also just to mention that, um, you know, when it comes to skilling up, she's very passionate about it. Um, it's not just a tick box exercise in terms of understanding BE. Um, you know, myself too, coming out of a previously disadvantaged um, upbringing, it's, it's, uh, it's certainly something that you, you know, you take to heart and it's got to be done properly. They're sitting with somebody that understands what needs to be done and not just ticking boxes and, and you know, it's a, it's a claim to fame for whichever corporate it is. Um, so, yeah, so keep up the good work as far as that is concerned. And then um, I think it's important also just to mention that, you know, Sue has also been a source of encouragement. Um, we've, we've spoken about me because um, I'm really passionate about mathematics as well. Um, you know, uh, Taylor alluded to, you know, the, the different... Uh, uh, lectures in the alphabet earlier on. I mean, for me, mathematics was something where it started right at about, uh, and I'm not shy to say the G and the H, and eventually I ended up, uh, you know, I just missed my A in the click by a few percent. So, you know, that those those words of encouragement from her to, to start your own business and, and take your, your career to the next level, um, it is something that she's, you know, she's, she's been speaking the language for a very long time and the philosophy. That's one thing talking about a thing. It's another thing when you when you actually walk the walk. And I'm um, very proud to be associated with what uh, Sue has accomplished and, uh, and also just uh, for the person she is. So, so thanks for that, everyone. Thank you so much, Mark. So nice of you to join us. And yeah, um, to the good old days, eh? So Mark completed, he was one of the um, employees at Schneider that completed the management advancement program. So well done to them and well done to that class. They did really well and it really helped. So yes, I absolutely, like I said, it's 100% or nothing with me. But thank you so much, Mark. All right, thanks, Mark. Uh, and Pretty, you're next. Uh, I know oh. you have some stuff there, but why did you share with us uh, verbally? Hi, Pretty. Hey, Pretty. hello. All right. Uh, or did you say pretty? You were obviously calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes Trevor again. <laughs> Trevor, right, I'm so uh, glad you stayed on board. I'm so glad. I'll, I'll read what Pretty wrote. Uh, worked with Sue at St. Gobain and she came in and built up training infrastructure. She was 
incredible and exuded the same enthusiasm that she does now. Excellent consultant on skills and triple BE. Furthermore, her sense of ethics with the disadvantage is a trademark. If the world had 100 more sous, it would be incredible. So, uh, well, Freddy, can you talk now? Are you on? Hello. Hi, Hi yes, Freddy. I'm, I'm unmuted. Hi, Hi Prithi, how are you? Hi, Sue. I'm so good, and nice. you, Sue? Oh, oh my God, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you so much for those absolutely amazing comments. You, you guys are going to make me cry, by the way. <laughs> well, it's well-deserved, and uh, it's definitely not, un, uh, it's, not tr it's, it's definitely true, so it's definitely not untrue. Uh, um, I bumped into Sue at Schneider Electrical and uh, based on her enthusiasm and her raw talent, I decided to recommend her to St. Cobain as a skills development consultant. And uh, I'm currently the transformation manager there at St. Cobain. Um, so with skills development, um, the, there was no infrastructure. We didn't have things in place. There was a very little framework and um, since uh, Sue was very strategical in her thought processes and... Oh, it looks like we've lost pretty there. Oh, shame, okay. She cut All right. Right. Oh, see you and back, Prithi. She was asked for about, was it one and a half years, Sue? Yes, actually um, it was, yeah, it was less. I'm here. <laughs> it was much less. So, so yes, uh, I stayed on for a short period of about eight months or nine months. I can't even remember because I move so often. Hi. Hi, oh. Prithi. Hi, Sue. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Sue really, yes, so Sue really left a huge impression on um, our executives as well as myself. And it was a pity we did lose her because she obviously had... Um, other ventures, uh, but the I think the overall skills development department had really been positively impacted by Sue during her time there, uh, to the point where it's it's uh, you know the environment is sustainable, and there's a lot of further traction on on skills development. So she came in and she put a lot of hygiene processes in place, and uh, had she stayed on, we would definitely have been. Uh, uh, more progressive, uh, but uh, we are still doing still still very well in the skills development space. So, I I don't think Sue's all about talk. Um, she definitely uh, walks the talk in terms of um, what she does in the consultancy space. Oh, thank you so much, Prithi. I really really appreciate that, and I love working with you. Still do. Pleasure. Right. Thanks, uh, thanks Prithi. And it uh, looks like there's another one, Diane. You also have something on your heart. Hi, Diane. Hi, Diana. Just unmute yourself, Diane. Hi, Diana. Okay. Diana, we can't hear you, so you haven't uh, unmuted yourself yet. So uh, I think uh, while we wait for Diana, uh, uh, so I've got a question for you in this uh, 4L learning. Uh, there's Diana now. It looks like she's unmuted herself. Diana, what would you like to share? Hi, Di. Hi, Diana. All right. So we are mic is open, but we don't get her. Um, in your uh, 4Ls, the last L is leave a legacy. What's your... Uh, meaning by leave a legacy it's an interesting choice of words there well it's how many lives you can impact and how many lives you can change just by being you and just by spreading that message of yes you can definitely do it you can achieve anything you set your mind to so for me that's the legacy is about how many lives do i touch how many lives do i impact do i make a difference in your life and if i can then for me, that's my legacy. And, um, you know, it's all about the people. And it's, it's, it's never really about me. It's just who I am and what I do. All right, excellent. Uh, there's just a request for all of you participating. 
Prithi, you and Mark and Diana and everybody, uh, can you just uh, give us your contact details there in the chat room so that we can have a complete uh, record of our discussion here. And uh, I, I'm sure one of my other uh, colleagues would also like to have a chat with you. You mentioned how the disabled is of very close to your heart. Now, I know he's been uh, the treasurer of the uh, disabled society for, I don't know how many years, Kevin, but uh, I'm sure you have a comment or two to make on that score. Hi, Sue. Uh, Hi. 34, 34 years, actually. Uh, Hi, been Kevin. Treasurer. Hi. Uh, been treasurer of the Association for the Physically Disabled for 34 years. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. We've that actually is so awesome. Up, we've set up businesses for disabled people. Um, and in particular, we use our own BEE status to run a purchasing organization where small business can actually purchase through us or large business can purchase from small business through us and inherit the BEE status. So, That's absolutely yeah. awesome. So I think there's a collaboration that needs to um, happen need to here. Yeah, yes, we need definitely. To definitely. Now we found that, you know, financing is a big problem. And uh, government in particular has been a hang of a letdown in the last couple of years. So we've had to create businesses in order to survive. And that's what we've done. No, you're absolutely right. And um, Prithi, if, if, if Prithi's still on and listening, you'll find that St. Cobain uh, set up what was known as startups. And these are for, um, it's not just for the uh, guys who are finishing the apprenticeship and the learnership program, but also Part of their group, they had the hard of hearing. And St. Cobain is construction, drywalling, etc. So they had the hard of hearing that was part of that team. Um, in other organizations, you know, the learnerships that I had set up was, like I said, someone in, could be in finance from physically disabled to, um, you know, hard of hearing from uh, blind to deaf to all the disabilities. But obviously, when I when I have learnerships and I run them in company, and in particular for learnerships for the disabled, I always ensure that the environment is conducive for the learner. Because you know, it's no use putting uh, disabled learners in environments that don't cater to them. Because I think it's, it's you know, it's dehumanizing. And uh, the, the one thing with the dis disabled community is that they don't want to, to feel as if now they've got to rely on other people. You know, mm. they want to be independent and that's their self-worth and their self-love. So we need to give them that, that back. So that's what I do before I even recommend to companies. I go and look at, so what have you got? You know, what's your structure like? Can you cater for the disabled? So that's very, very close you, to my heart. You're, you're, you're preaching to the choir here. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> we actually have an employment agency as well for disabled people. So um, we must check. definitely connect. Okay. Thank so, you, right, Kevin. Then, uh, we, we're starting to get to the close of this uh, chat, but bef uh, I just want to sneak in another question there. Uh, uh, Sue, I'm only meeting you today, but I'm now curious, how did you uh, find out about the virtual trade fair and, uh, and, and, you know, what's the connection there? So, Dawn and I have been friends for over 10 years. Uh, really, really good friends. And so, you know, when the lockdown happened, of course, we were... 20, more, Sue. 20. Oh, 20. Oh, my word. It's 20 years. <laughs> and do and you know how Dawn met me? She met me in the gym. She came to do one of my um, classes. She came to the gym and she did some training. She and I had coffee and we've been friends ever since 20 years. So I just want to say, you know, I absolutely am so grateful to, to my friend Dawn for starting this for, you know, with Trevor and Ivan and Irene and everybody else that pulled this together. I'm grateful. So Dawn is actually my link uh, to the uh, trade fair. So I'm very grateful to my friend. So have you got a, have you got a stall up at the trade fair? Yes, I do have a stall up. I do. All right, excellent. Uh, all right, I see, uh, I don't know who it is, but iPad, iPad, you had your hand up. Uh, so <laughs> Mike can uh, talk to us. Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay, iPad. <laughs> uh, 
I, okay, Diana, can you talk to us now? Or, uh... Hi, Diana. Hello. All right, looks like we've got a connection problem there. All right, uh, one last round of uh, hands up uh, or open up your mic and ask uh, Sue a question before we uh, take uh, uh, our quick break or before we listen to the next speaker. So is there any other hand up? So just open up, uh, Dawn, I think your mic is open. Do you have something to say? No, I just wanted to say uh, the caliber of Sue is who I like to mix with. The, with that kind of depth of person, the integrity and the depth that she is, and that's around myself. Thank you, Sue. Thanks. Thank you, and Dawn. Nissy, you had your mic open. Did you want to say something? Okay, Nissy, your mic. Okay, Hello? Like playing with his mic there. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, then, uh, thank you very much, uh, Sue. And uh, we look forward to... Star uh, from America. From Canada. <laughs> from Nigeria. They, they... From South Africa. Hi, guys. Cheers, you, eh? Jasper is muted. Oh, okay. Jasper, you muted yourself there. I think you were trying to mute uh, our songster, but... Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what I was just thinking, uh, Trevor, uh, we're meeting such interesting people that uh, uh, on, on this platform, I would like uh, for us to have a, a, a bit of a longer uh, stay with each other. And uh, maybe you should put your wisdoms... Uh, uh, a link so that people can, uh, you know, after the trade fair, join us on the morning sessions when we just discuss various topics of uh, relevance uh, without anyone necessarily being an expert, but we all have a story to share. And it would be interesting to uh, start to meet each other there just on another level as well. So uh, uh, if I you don't see Ivan's, Ivan's on to it straight away, I can see him in the, in the background. He's going to drop it there. Look at that. Eight o'clock every morning. Um, a couple of us that are quite smart at mathematics, uh, we tend to get on this. So, Sue, you'll certainly pick up the quality of conversation on, on that. Uh, we chat about uh, different topics every day um, that, that strive for abundance and positive thinking and keeping people uplifted uh, at these very, uh, at these particular times. Yeah, and Absolutely. you can see even our, even our domain name only goes to three. Eh? So it's wisdoms one, two, three. So we, we don't get that clear. <laughs> <laughs> but folks, uh, but this, brings this, chat, this brings this chat to an end. We've got